a lot of times you would go here to add a camera, but it looks like in Blinks, you go back up here and click your plus sign and then Blink wireless camera add to an existing system requires a sync module. So you select this. All right, so today we have a new battery powered home security camera system. This is the Blink Outdoor battery powered security system. This box comes with two cameras as well as the base station you'll need. So of course, we're gonna get on the overhead rig and unbox this and see everything that comes inside of the box. And then we're gonna go over to Amanda's mom's house and we're gonna, and we're gonna set the entire thing up for her on her Wi-Fi, and we'll even show you that setup process and hopefully some video clips directly from this camera. So click like, click subscribe, indulge in your life at indulgeclothing.com for the merch, and let's check out these Blink wireless battery powered cameras. All right, so let's unbox our Blink outdoor battery powered security cameras two pack. Now, of course, these work with Alexa. It says they have a two year battery life. Hey, it runs on two AA batteries that are not rechargeable. We'll, you know, have to figure that out. Weather resistant, day and night, high definition view, two-way audio, and motion detection. The top just has the name, just company info on the bottom, as well as what's in the box and some of the tech specs and requirements. Inside, you have your storage options. So you have cloud storage, record and store video clips and photos from your camera and view them in the Blink app from anywhere with the Blink subscription plan. So you have to pay for that monthly, or you can do local storage, record and store events to your Blink Sync module too in your home and view them in your Blink app from anywhere. No monthly fees required, USB flash drive required, sold separately. That would be the one I would highly recommend. I would never say pay yearly. It's just not worth it. This side, two year battery life, wire free camera run on two AA lithium batteries for up to two years. That's really gonna depend on your uh, usage there and how much this camera has to record. Day and night HD view, see what's happening in HD day or night with infrared night vision. Two-way audio, see, hear, and speak from the Blink Home Monitor app and motion detection, customize motion zones so that you can be alerted to what matters most. So let's, uh, and in the back, just protect what matters most inside and out. And there they are, Blit talking about that two years on a single set of batteries. <laughs> I really question that, but we will have to see. Let's open it on up. And it looks like this slides out. Does it slide? Yeah. Oh, look at that, look at that. Nice. Okay, don't know why this gap is left there, but here is one of the cameras. They do have a little protective film over them. And then you can see you got this screw cover to uh, get into the back. And then there's, wow, micro USB port. What is that for? If it's not interesting, very interesting. Oh, and then look at this. Here's our included batteries. They gave us Energizer Ultimate Lithium battery, so that's helpful. And here's our second camera second set of batteries. Then this here is the little wall mount. It just goes in with the two screws and pops right on to place. Very nice. You can angle it, you know, however you may need. And another wall. It looks like this box can come with three of them because there's an empty wall mount spot here and an empty phone spot here. So I guess they make a two pack and a three pack and in the two pack they just remove one of the cameras. So another wall mount. And then that was actually stuck there. So a little quick start guide, mainly just to download their app. And then this is the module. So you can see Blink Sync Module 2. All that's really on this, that looks like a reset button. That's the USB where you'd plug in a flash drive to save everything like it was talking about on the side of the box. And the bottom would just be where you power it at, of course. And then uh, you've got the USB, micro USB cable to power that device with a power brick, an Amazon power brick. And then what else we got down in here? We got screws, screws, a, uh, Oh, a Blink Sync module information little booklet thing. And I don't know what that is. And that's all that, uh, yeah, that doesn't come out. So that's, that's it for the box. My guess is this is to, oh, uh, that's use the included tool to unscrew the back. That's what this is for. Gotcha, gotcha. My bad. So that will do it for the Blink outdoor battery powered security cameras unboxing. Then we're gonna go over to my mother-in-law's house and we're gonna set these up on her Wi-Fi and show you how they work.
There's actually two of these. There was another one in there I didn't see the first time. All right, so we have everything laid out here. We will use this to download the Blink app. So just use your smartphone, scan the code, click the link. All right, so we install Blinks on our phone and then of course create you an account, sign into your account, etc. unless you already have an account and then you're ready to set up the cameras. So now that we're signed into our account, we will get our sync module ready. So there's a little piece of plastic on this, or tape it seems. Peel that off, and then take our little cable here, plug this in into here, plug this in into the wall, and this end into the bottom here, like so. All right, let's plug this in. All right, so we had to move over a little bit. We have a blue light here showing on our Blink Sync module. So we'll go into the app and click the top left corner and we want to add a Blink wireless camera system. If you would like to use the camera on your mobile device to scan the QR code, grant camera permission with prompting, or you can enter the serial manual. Okay, so there's a QR code on the back here and we can scan it and now it's wanting us to name our system. So we have a steady green and we have a blinking blue. Discover device. And now this phone should find this little device. And so it's gonna connect to it. So now the Wi-Fi on my phone is switching to the Wi-Fi here, where then it'll ask for the Wi-Fi password. So we'll put in our Wi-Fi password to get them to connect. And so now that we've put our password in, it is, it is connecting this module to the Blink servers. Now it's running a firmware update on the sync module too. All right, so now the module's connected, so we can select done. Snooze alerts, yep, got it. Now that the module's connected, it shows up here where we have firmware and the option to change the Wi-Fi as well as delete stuff. A lot of times you would go here to add a camera, but it looks like in Blinks, you go back up here and click your plus sign and then Blink wireless camera add to an existing system it requires a sync module, so you select this. And then you also have, so these have a QR code somewhere, I believe on the inside. So I'm gonna peel off all of this and take out that and then use our little screw doohickey here. To loosen this, which should take the back off and then we should hopefully have a QR code to scan. Yeah, there's our QR code on the inside. And we gotta put the batteries in it, of course. So let's do that too. I like that they give you batteries. Let's see, this one goes, this way, this one goes this way. Now I should be able to scan the code and add it to our home defense system. And now it's looking for the camera, which I don't see any, uh, there's really no power button. I wonder if I need to put this back on. Let me throw this back on. Oh, it already added it. <laughs> Guess I didn't need to put this back on. So camera added successfully, select done. And it didn't let me name it yet, but we'll go into the settings here and we will name this uh, Front Yard. Interesting way to do it. So if I click video, do we get video? Hey, I got a click. I got a click. Whoa. I got a click. Ah! Oh. <laughs> All right, so there we go. Why is it still echoing? I have it like stop. Really, my volume's turned down. Well, that's right. definitely working. All right, so now that this camera is set up, we will repeat the process with the second camera and get it installed. Now we're gonna come back in here. We've got the uh, second camera ready. We'll do it the same way, add a camera. All right, we will scan the QR code of this camera and select home defense again. And now it will find this camera and add it to our system. So there we go, camera added successfully. And it just throws it in the mix here. It doesn't give it a name or even ask you to name it, so. Now we can take these out to set them up where we want them. You literally just have two screws that uh, mount this to the wall and then this just pops right into here. Very, very simple. All right, so we put in our two screws and now we'll just take our camera and line it up and pop it on. There we go, now it's on. And then you just angle it however you want it. So this is a daytime audio video test on a Blink security camera. So there's not a lot to the app. Uh, my only thing that I dislike is like, I should just be able to click here, but instead you have to physically click on this little icon and then it opens up 
your actual video view. Now these load times are gonna be based on your internet speed. So faster internet speed, faster load time, of course. But you can turn it sideways to, to go full screen. And outside of that, there's just a mic button and that button that'll save your session. So I'll have to try out this microphone. Hello, Mike Wayne. How does it sound? Perfectly clear. Do I sound good? There we go. That time I could hear you better. Yeah, yeah, it does sound very clear. I like it. All these dang sirens. All right, and so outside of those two options, there's a mute up here in the, there's mute up in the top right. And then it looks like when you go back, you can select this little icon next to the name of the device and that's where you get a lot more settings. The battery, the temperature, enable motion detection, the zones, retriggering time, sensitivity, clip length. You can take that up or down. So we'll leave that at five seconds. End clip early if motion stops. Motion recording, night vision, it's on auto. Enable audio and the speakers all the way. Enable photo capture. Quality is saver, standard, and best. So this is probably how it's able to last two years, quote unquote, is you could put it on saver, you know, you could turn some of these sensitivities down and you'd probably get a full two years out of this. Uh, without that, you're probably not gonna get two years out of this. At least that's that's my guess. But I do like that they have a lot of settings here. You're able to kind of take care of everything. And also you can rename them by clicking on them. So uh, because this one's not named correctly, I'm gonna name it living room. There we go. So that will really do it for the Blink outdoor battery powered security camera setup. All right, well, uh, that was pretty easy. Very. I could have done it. <laughs> yeah, there you go. So that is the setup process for the Blinks battery powered security cameras. If you're an Amazon person, these are definitely more of the cameras to get. Completely wireless, battery powered, pretty easy setup as you see through the phone. And you can place them anywhere that your module will reach. So we actually put this module right over here. That way it's kind of in the middle of where the front and the back cameras are. So I'll of course have this exact model linked down below in the description if you'd like to grab one of these for your household. I think that will do it for today's video. Click like, click subscribe, indulge in your life at indulgeclothing.com for the merch. I did this backwards, so I got a deuce out over this way. That's weird, but we'll see you in the next one. Deuces. Bye. So weird, it was backwards. <laughs>